हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ रॉबर्ट स्टर्नबर्ग स्ट्रॉर्किक थ्योरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड कंपोनेंशियल पार्ट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एक्सपीरियंशियल एंड कंटेक्चुअल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस लेट्स स्टडी एक्सपीरियंशियल क्रिएटिव इंटेलिजेंस दिस फॉर्म ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस फोकस इज ऑन कैपेसिटी टू बी इंटेलेक्चुअली फ्लेक्सीबल एंड इनोवेटिव सपोज आई से I know a person. I have seen a person. I have seen a person who is who is uh, always figuring out puzzles. If I go to you, if I go to him, he comes he comes up with a creative solutions to any problem. He is not afraid of anything. He can come out of comfort zone. He keeps on experimenting new things. I am talking about experiential creative intelligence. it deals with how well a task is performed with regard to how familiar it is please it's very important a person's experience with the task helps to determine whether that person's performance qualifies as intelligent behavior so you have to be flexible and innovative in order to qualify for this experiential creative intelligence how creative you are it means you you are unusual you are novel in your approach you process information very fast efficiently you are processing information efficiently this means you you connect you can make a connection you can make a link between different ideas your imagination power is very strong it means you are creative you are high on experiential creative part this is what we mean by experiential creative you know how to use your experiences in solving a new problem experiential okay so he 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 this is also very important he splits the role of experience in two parts one is novelty and other is automation novelty some unfamiliar situation is there in front of you and you come up with a uh, different ideas unfamiliar situation is there and you come up with novel unusual ideas lots of ideas it means you are high on novelty and on other side on other side is automation automation is there are some tasks that you do that you perform every day there are some tasks there there are some routine jobs that you perform every day so what happens is your task is automated automation comes in this means increasing efficiency of information processing with practice is automatization efficiency increase you don't spend much time if you if you drive daily and you spend much time on uh, while doing this you know how to drive you have a expert in this that's that that task is automatized you don't need to spend much time much energy much resources in driving you are driving at the same time you are planning something else while driving and you just reach your destination and you think i see i have reached i was actually driving see your task is automatized sometimes you think yeah, i was driving and i have reached that place and you were thinking something else at the same time parallelly you are doing something else so it means your task is automatized through your routine jobs they become automatized you don't spend much energy on those things so in automatization some familiar task and in novelty some unfamiliar task new task is there and he said that on the extremes of it, here novelty here automation on the extremes of this continuum intelligence is best demonstrated novelty has to be there automation has to be there both in this way he can say that on the extremes of this continuum continuum your intelligent behavior is best demonstrated this is what we mean by experiential creative intelligence last is contextual practical intelligence this is very interesting favorite of mine intelligence is contextually bound from this perspective what is meant by intelligent behavior may vary from one culture or subculture to another from one historical time to another and from one period of life span to another thus intelligence is based on the way one functions in their everyday circumstances it deals with the mental activity involved in attaining fit to the context what does it mean 
again example if i say i have i know a person who knows how to adapt who knows how to function very well who knows how to relate to the world i know a person who knows i know a person who knows how to shape his environment how to adapt to his environment how to take his tasks his daily tasks his daily struggles in the best possible manner he doesn't afraid nobody can cheat him he knows he doesn't creep he solves his problems his daily life problems in the best way i'm talking about contextual practical intelligence i'm talking about practical i'm talking about practical person they are street smart persons they know how to get their work done they don't creep from the contextual point of view we are talking about it means it deals with the mental activity involved in attaining fit to the context this is very important intelligence is contextually bound this culture sub culture from one historical time to another and from one period of life span to another it means intelligence is contextually bound it means like suppose your strategy some the, the strategy that you are using right now can it work do you think it will it will work in future it will work after 20 years of 30 years will it work suppose you have come up with an important very uh, useful gadget do you think it will work after 20 years 30 years and so on like this after decades it cannot it, it cannot sometimes it can sometimes it cannot why because situation changes conditions changes time changes so the definition of intelligence also changes with time it in context in, intelligence is contextually bound with time the lots of things they change and thus we have to keep on changing ourselves we have to we have to make changes in ourselves we have to see the context in which we are working this is what we mean by contextual practical intelligence you have to uh, a person who is practical he knows how to apply his intelligence how to work on his this is what he what is intelligence he can relate to the world right it has three parts adaptation shaping and selection adaptation it it occurs when one makes a changes within oneself in order to better adjust to one's surroundings you you there is new new job for example uh, you got a new job you go there you adapt to the environment because you have to you have to apply your abilities onto your job this is what you mean what is what is meant by adaptation you adapt to your environment you have to you have, if there is some skill that is required to learn in order to adapt you learn that then is shaping it occurs when one changes their environment to better suit one need one's needs you are you are making a change in the environment Sometimes, sometimes you cannot adapt to the environment. You have to make a change in your environment, in your immediate environment, in order to make a fit with the context. Sometimes shaping is required. Sometimes you have to make change in the in the in your environment. That is what we mean by shaping, so that it can it can suit your needs. For example, a teacher, if if students are disturbing, if students are naughty, if students are mischievous. She has to make a change. She has to change her technique in order to better adapt to her environment. She will. She will. Uh, she will find some way so that students get disciplined. They will. They will not be so naughty, and they cannot. If and they cannot disturb her much. And last is selection. Sometimes when adaptation and shaping they both don't work, we have to resort to selection. Okay. Selection is it is undertaken when a completely new alternate environment is found to replace the previous unsatisfying environment to meet the individual goals. Sometimes when they don't work, sometimes adaptation it's not working. Sometimes shaping is not working. So you are in an envi environment when you cannot adapt. You are in an environment when you cannot shape and you cannot change the environment. You cannot adapt as well as well as you cannot change. You are in a very suffocating environment. Then you see. You see, you say to yourself that see, I have to leave this job. I have to go somewhere else. You look for the other opportunities, and when you get a new job, you leave your previous job so that you can be comfortable. So basically, 
in this in practical contextual practical intelligence we are talking about that you make a fit to the context you make you make yourself adaptive you make yourself uh, you adapt to your environment and what are the strategies that is required you know that see this is important this is what i have to do these are the skills that i have to you have practical in your approach you apply what you know to your environment so that you can be comfortable in your environment so summary this theory is theory of successful intelligence which attempts to account for the intellectual sources of individual differences that enable people to achieve success in their lives given the socio cultural context in which they live this socio cultural context is very important we have talked about now it arises from a functional balance between analytical creative and practical abilities basically he basically stern book he said that there has to be a uh, functional balance between these three between componential like analytical creative and practical abilities there has to be a balance a very important thing that i want to tell you he said that you have to capitalize on your strengths and you have to compensate on your weakness you know you should be aware of your strengths and you should try to find a place you should you should try to find a job where you can capitalize on your strengths and with the help of your analytical skills with the help of the meta components you should be able to solve you should be able to compensate for your weakness this is what is what is this is what is intelligence know your strengths capitalize on it and compensate for your weakness this is a basic core point of his theory this is this theory is practical because of this because he said that capitalize on your strengths and compensate for your weakness and the individual is not restricted to having a excellence in, in only one of these many people may possess an integration of all the three and have high levels of all the three intelligence you can you can be high on componential you can be have high on uh, this contextual you can be high on creative you can be high in all the three this can also happen you can be high on 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 one on any one or you can be high in all the three intelligence this can happen and last very important i want to tell he said that meta components like meta component performance and knowledge acquisition they remain same across all cultures these information processing these components they remain same across all cultures but the but the creative part and the practical part the tasks and the context they can change in order to understand intelligence they change they can change okay so this is what we mean by sunburg's triarchic theory of intelligence hope you understood thank you